Are you How many slides is it? It's gone. Quite a few, eh? Okay, this is... Oh, six minutes! Oh! This is Jared Hildebrand's presentation. Okay, well, I guess I'll stop okay. now. Five twenty two. Stop talking! Give Jared your attention, please! Hello! Well, I'm back again for Gears of War Asphalt Fields. Uh, this is uh, taking place before Gears of War 2 and after Gears of War 1. So it's basically like a timeline in between. So just to make sure if any of you guys have ever played the Gears series, this is where it takes place. Yeah. It also takes the... Oh, Wes. Is this the first We're not part? asking questions! Bring a jam on that! No questions! It's a also. presentation! You do not interrupt people and ask questions! Put your arms down! <laughs> Asphalt Fields is also uh, 14 years before a specific day called E-Day, uh, where the Antonages pop in. So I might as well just go on with this. It's, uh, it's written by Karen Travis, the number one New York Times bestseller. She's written several books, mostly Star Wars series, like uh, Death Clones, Order 66, and so on. Warning this, warning, this game, this book is based off a mature rated video game. So it's like graphic things in it. Sometimes they even say they, they get some bone in their eye. And this presentation is going to be made by me. The first ones. The characters are Marcus Venus, Dom Santiago, Carlos Santiago, Hoffman, Ataki, Damon Baird, Augustus Cole slash Coltrane, Ty Caliso, Adam Phoenix, and Jack Bot. Now the first characters, well these are my weapons and enemies. Drones, Boomers, Lancer, Longshot, Cock Pistol, and Boomshot. Also the Hammer Burst. Marcus Phoenix. Uh, Marcus Phoenix is a Pendle Moore's hero, and he has received the Embry Star, which is basically the Medal of Honor in our time, except he actually survived to receive this. He was, uh, he was put in the slab a few years later at, on Emergence Day in Jacinto. It's because, uh, for unknown reasons, he went back to save his father at his mansion, and he failed in doing so, supposedly. And he basically just got busted out afterwards by Dom Santiago against orders from Hoffman. Hoffman actually decided to make a release of all the prisoners, except for Marcus Phoenix, because of what he did at the beginning. Now, Adam Phoenix, the father and what he calls himself an engineer, but is a scientist in the eyes of the people and is also a saint. It's because he's productive so much and helps most of humanity basically move forward with something. Instead of they use gas or crude oil, they use called, something called emulsion, which can cause several diseases. He was actually an officer in the COG, the Coalition of Ordered Governments, but he was retired for his engineering work. Okay, let's see who's next. Ah, Dom Santiago, the extra protonogist. He's the best friend of uh, Marcus Phoenix, also the brother of Carlos Santiago. He was also a commando, dur commando during the Pendulum Wars. As you can see, he has a bit of a combat knife right here. See, can you see that? Combat knife right there. He gets that out for completing uh, the commando training. Also, he has a tattoo of his wife right here. See that? No. Yeah, it has Maria on it. Yeah, no, tell me about it. Also, he doesn't wear a full body armor set. But his wife and his parents, also his three kids, Sylvia, Benedicto, and Carlos, and Carlos Santiago is his older brother. This is his son, Carlos. They all died after emergence day. His wife has gone missing, and his mother and father died also. Damon Bear, the, he's the smart mouth of the group. He looks like, he looks like smarty mouth, doesn't he? he? He can be a pain, and he has a very tedious mouth, quoted by Marcus Phoenix. But he can think like the grubs, a.k.a. the locust, so he can know where they pop up and what they think. Because so, sometimes they like to place mines on their own vehicles. I like can see how that turns out. He's basically the mechanics and constantly toying with machinery of the Locust. How their bombs work, also weapons. Coltrane, former Thrash Bowl star, he has stopped after Emergence Day. He had a fortune held in a bank, but has lost all of his family. He still writes notes to them, sweetly. He is uh, actually quite known. He, there's like a lot of things they define Coltrane. By very spiritual, oh no, that's, no, never mind, that was, that was Kalisa. He is like very confident. He makes everyone feel invincible when he's around. So, what's going on? Ty Caliso. From the islands around Syria, most of Syria is a landmass, so there's not much water. That's why they use emulsion. 
And Tai does not speak a language and has a translator device attached to his ear on his neck. See that? That's the translating device. And his tribe uses tattoos and piercings, unlike Mataki, Bernie. A sniper and a survivalist, she was taught Don to be a commando. Also came from the islands, just not um, Kaliso's islands. She is from a different tribe. And also, see all that fur inside her armor? After the 14 years after she disappeared after the Pendulum Wars, she hunted animals, and sometimes even human beings if she had to. Hoffman. Let's see. Also a Pendulum War hero, also put Marcus in the slab in order not to be released when... He let every other prisoner out to fight the war. He left him there to die. For unknown reasons, he did this. There's the bell. The bell. Oh, well. Jackbot. Jack is used for most purposes, from scouting to EOD work, and that can hover and turn invisible. He also, you also receive, like, commands. So he has, like, a little green clock pistol. Oh, so <laughs> 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 